What is going on guys, I'm Moose, and today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Ghost informational video. First off, I'm going to introduce the gameplay. It is a Cat 40 nuclear on hijacked and domination, but uh, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Call of Duty Ghost and the weapons within multiplayer. This is thanks to Charlie Intel and some of their people that were working pretty hard to find out what weapons are actually in the game. So uh, first off, we have the R5 RGP. It says fully automatic, increased damage and range. So that seems a lot like the scar to me from past games, especially from Black Ops 2 where it has has increased damage and range, but uh, it, it, I assume it will shoot fairly slow. We have the Honey Badger then. Um, this is fully automatic. It has actually an integrated silencer, so it says it allows for higher overall versatility but lower range. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. It's a gun that I think a lot of people are going to use as long as it's fairly powerful. We then have the SA805. Uh, this has no description. We have the FAD, which we saw in Modern Warfare 3. This is obviously a fast shooting assault rifle, but uh, low range and uh, moderate recoil. We also have the SC2 t or, uh, 2010. This is fully automatic. It has low recoil and uh, it obviously gives you high accuracy with the low recoil. Uh, the MSBS looks like a tar to me but that's just uh, kind of the way it's designed I think it's called a bullpup design where the magazines behind the trigger but uh, it says it's a three round burst high damage output in each burst fast fast rate of fire in full auto so uh, that hints at another um, another select fire type attachment or maybe it's just built into every gun and you can switch their fire modes no matter what so uh, we'll ha uh, that remains to be seen but that definitely hints at that the ARX 160 is next that is a fully auto automatic assault rifle highest rate of fire in the class with reduced recoil for the first three rounds of each burst so uh, that sounds kind of like the A94 they say in each burst so uh, I don't know if the burst is more than three rounds uh, actually they do say it's fully automatic so I'm not exactly sure what is going on with that gun uh, as with most of my Call of Duty Ghost videos I will have the link to my information in the description so you guys can read for it uh, for yourself and at the end of the video I'm gonna have a screenshot of all the weapons in Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer and in the description I will lay out which weapons are which in that picture so you can see all them in the picture. But uh, the last assault rifle that they have is the AK-12. This looks like an AK-47. Uh, obviously it is not because it's called the AK-12, but it kind of looks like that. And I assume it'll work generally like an AK-47 from past games. Now on to submachine guns. We have the Vector CRB. I'm sure a lot of you saw gameplay of that from other people's channels. We have the K-7 which looks like a very small submachine gun. It also looks like it might have an integrated silencer just like the Honey Badger, that, sh that remains to be seen, but it kind of does look like that. We also have the CBJ-MS. Uh, this looks a lot like an MP7, at least to me. Um, I don't know if they have any relation at all, but uh, no no definition of that. We also have the MTAR-X. Uh, so obviously the MTAR is not an assault rifle in this game. It's actually an SMG, which is pretty interesting. We also have the Bison, which I know is in the PP90 family. It, uh, it's, it's similar to a PP90, and I assume it'll work generally like a PP90 from Modern Warfare 3. The last one we have is the Vepr or the VEPR. Uh, that is the last SMG. Moving on to LMGs, I'm sure a few of you saw gameplay of the M27 IAR. Uh, that seems like the M27 from uh, Black Ops 2, but uh, that remains to be seen as well. It is an LMG in the game, so that's worth noting. Uh, we also have the LSAT, so um, the LSAT will be making a return in the light machine gun category. And then the last one we have is the Chainsaw. Uh, I think that's pretty. <laughs> it's a pretty cool name, um, but it's Chain uh, Space Saw. It's pretty interesting. I think it's actually in the Saw family of weapons. We had the Saw in, or the M249 Saw, I believe is what it was, in Call of Duty 4. So it's probably in the same weapon family. We also, also have Marksman Rifles, and uh, I'm actually going to have a video on that coming up in about a day or two. Um, but two Marksman Rifles. Rifles have been confirmed so far, the MK-14 EBR, which we've seen in past games in Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and Call of Duty 4, and we've also, um, we also have the MR-28, uh, this looks a lot like a sniper rifle, but, um, it is classified as a marksman rifle. Moving on to sniper rifles, we have the Imbel IA-2, um, this is a single shot, uh, uh, sniper rifle kind of looks like the RSAS to me, and I think it'll work in a similar way. We also have the SVU Dragunov. We've seen this millions of times. Almost in every Call of Duty game, we have a Dragunov-type weapon. We also have the L115. I'm sure some of you saw gameplay of that. It's a lot like the L18 or the L118 from uh, Modern Warfare 3. And then we have the USR, which we didn't get to see gameplay of, but that is also a sniper within Call of Duty Ghosts. And on to the shotguns, we have the MTS-255, and we have the Maul. 
So uh, those are pretty interesting shotguns. We have the riot shield is back, and ha for handguns we have the P226, M9A1, MP433, and 44 Magnum. Um, and then we have a few launchers, the MK32, which kind of looks like a war machine. We also have the casket, or the castet, I'm sorry, and the Panzerfaust. So uh, that does it for the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts. Obviously on screen now I ran out of gameplay, so uh, I put up the screenshot, and I will have all of those in the description. So um, uh, I'll show you guys every single weapon, and, or not every single one, because we don't know all of them yet, but uh, we do know most of them, and I uh, will have them in order so you guys can see which weapons are which. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like and a comment for which weapon you're most uh, excited about. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you guys later.